Nobody seems to care about the smart functions on their TVs, mainly because external devices like Roku and Apple TV are much better. But Samsung has added two new features to its latest batch of 2016 models that do stuff no Roku or Apple TV can. And unlike most smart TV options, these capabilities are actually pretty compelling. The first is easier control of external devices like cable boxes, game consoles, and streamers. Plug the device into one of the TV's HDMI inputs and it will automatically set up the TV's remote to operate the device. You'll be able to access the program guide, DVR, menus, and other functions using Samsung's TV remote. The coolest part is that it's all as easy as plug and play. No device codes or model numbers to track down. Just plug in the device and the TV does the rest. Samsung says it has 90% of the cable boxes covered now, with DirecTV coming in June and support for hundreds of other devices, including Roku and Apple TV, available right now. I can't wait to test the feature myself. If it works, it might finally be able to replace a universal remote. The second big feature revolves around SmartThings, which is one of CNET's favorite smart home ecosystems and is now owned by Samsung. Mid-range and high-end Samsung sets for 2016 will be able to act exactly like a SmartThings hub. That means you'll be able to control lights, security cameras, thermostats, and more right from the TV screen. You can even set up so-called routines, for example, a motion detector that turns on the lights, opens the blinds, and turns the TV on to your favorite channel. Buyers of the new TVs will get a coupon in the box that entitles them to get a free SmartThings Extend dongle that plugs into the back of the TV. It's going to be available in June. That's a quick look at two of the most exciting features in Samsung's 2016 Smart TVs. Both will be available in its 7, 8, and 9 series models. Stay tuned for the full reviews. I'm David Katzmeyer for CNET.